Hi, welcome to another video. So, there are two coder apps that are giving you Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and I wanted to tell you guys about these. The first one is Zed. Zed is an editor if you don't know, and it has some quite good AI features, similar to Cursor and other tools. It currently gives you access to Claude 3.7 Sonnet for free. So, you can just get it installed, and then sign in with a Z account, and then you'll have the option of Claude 3.7 Sonnet here, which is quite good. You can generate code with it, and everything like that which is helpful, and there are some limits to it, but it's good for basic usage if you need it. One thing is that it doesn't have any options for thinking, which is a little bummer for sure. You have these slash commands, and you can add context of your files, and everything like that which is awesome, and it isn't as agentic as cursor and such, but it's free, and their editor is quite snappy. So, you can try it out and use it as well. But the next one doesn't have this limitation, and you can use it for free as well, and that's Bolt. Bolt currently has been upgraded to use Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and it also has a dynamic reasoning option that you can easily enable in the experimental settings option, and then it will start to do reasoning accordingly, which is quite cool. You can just ask it to make an app. Like, let's ask it to make me a space shooter game here, and then what you'll see is that it will start working on it. You can see the thinking here. It doesn't think for too long, because generally that's not needed. Then, you can see that it starts working on the major part by creating the files required. The game requires a ton of files, so this will take a bit to finish. Let's wait a bit here, and it's now done. You can see that here, it did the stuff quite well. It's a little too speedy, but that's manageable. So, considering that it's free, although you still have the limit, it's still good to use for apps that you may need. It also now supports generating mobile apps, which means that you can even create apps here. Another thing is that Windsurf also now has added support for Claude 3.7 Sonnet and Thinking as well. So, you can now use it there as well, and you also get some free trial there. That's how you can use that as well. I've been using it, and this has been working well. They have both General 3.7 Sonnet and Thinking Sonnet as well. I think that you should just use plain Sonnet because it's better at most stuff. Recently, Anthropic has also shared that they have updated some stuff for better tool usage with a low amount of credits. So, this is obviously also good to see. I like all three of them, and you can use them in any way. It's always great to have some free options to use, rather than not having them. Go ahead and use them all you want. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.